Hi everyone, welcome to the third episode of this PCB milling machine build. I am JCRP and this is Media Miller. If you want to watch the other episodes in this build series, then you can click on the top right corner or check in the description. In the last episode, we put the smooth rods on the metal frame. In this episode, we will be making the X axis mount, which will also house the Z axis. So let's dive in. All these parts were modeled using Fusion 360 and printed with ABS plastic at 0.2 mm layer height. Having a separate box for the different screws really helps. This housing was printed along with the plate to house the motor. A separate piece was printed to house the threaded rod and the nut. The smooth rods go inside these linear bearings. The flexible shaft coupling attaches the threaded rod to the motor. All these will fit into this housing which took 19 hours to print. For the nut, I am using this nylock nut so they don't unscrew due to vibration. All the holes in this build are almost 3mm with light tolerances. And places wherever necessary, I used small 3mm washers. The washers are pretty cheap and adding them will certainly won't hurt. You could tighten the allen bolts using the allen key but I just used my drill on a slow speed to tighten it. It was tough to tighten because of the nylock nuts so this helped a lot. Next, the brass nut fits snugly into this 3D print. I just had to align the holes and screw it in place. I kept this as a separate piece just for easy 3D printing. I avoided the supports wherever possible to get clean 3D prints. Just a test to see if the threaded rods screw in properly. Now I can mount this on the motor plate. I used button head allen key bolts so that when I house the motor, the bolts won't be out too much. This is a 12 volt DC motor which is used inside cordless drill machines. It has enough RPM to drill through PCB. I am placing this motor at the top because at the bottom there will be a chuck and then the drill bit. So having the motor at the top will give enough Z axis height. But if you want, you can move it wherever you want. That's why I have given these extra holes on the sides. So you can attach the cover plate wherever necessary. Now I need to attach the main X axis housing to the smooth rods and bearings. And to do this, I have to remove the smooth rods. These aluminum extrusions were getting in the way, so I had to do this. I wish I had the right length of the allen key bolts cause I don't like this protruding so much. Well I can replace that later whenever I go to the market and get new ones. Now I can slide the X axis housing to one corner and tighten the smooth rod holders. And then I do the same on the other side. This way I can be sure that both the rods are parallel. To test the smoothness you should be able to move the entire assembly with just one finger at not much force. You should feel it running smoothly and not snagging at any place. A NEMA 17 4.2 kg stepper motor goes on the top to drive the X axis. It receives the flexible shaft coupler. Time to attach the motor plate to the Z axis. The threaded rods can be screwed in from the bottom. Usually at the bottom a bearing is added to keep the rod in place. But here I missed it and there is just a 8mm hole. But in the design which I will be releasing at the end of this series, I will give provision to add a bearing. Then the 8mm smooth rods can go in place. Using Fusion, I was able to align the holes to slide in. And I'm happy that all aligns properly because I designed them with the exact measurements. Sure, ABS shrinks a bit after printing, but I had taken that into account and gave some tolerance while designing. So it's all good. After tightening the shaft coupler to the threaded rod, I can give it a test. Such a happy feeling when it comes together. Guess that's why I love making such things. Now I can seal the top side of the smooth rod with a small 3D printed piece. This will help avoiding the smooth rods sliding out. There is no need to use nylock nut here. And with that, the X axis and the Z axis are done. I can already see few things that I will be updating about this build, just to make it better. 
but I'll wait until the end because I want to see how this actually works and based on that I can make more modifications and of course I will keep you in the loop and that's why you should always subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on any of these updates. Also on Instagram search me as Mr. JCRP so that you can see latest updates and these build videos as and when it happens. Do share my video because it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy learning.